everyone and welcome to Athens, Greece. Hand in mine, follow me, let me waste your time. Set up we have had a fantastic almost week in Athens. We've just been out our balcony. Our apartment, by the way, is amazing. I'll talk more about that in a moment. But there's our view. You can just see the Acropolis up there in the distance. It's a miserable day today. It's been raining non-stop. We have gotten soaking. But oh my goodness, we've had such a fantastic time. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning. <laughs> I like the bonbons, man. Don't the Time of the ridge of 3 hours and 30 minutes. There should be mostly smooth flying conditions, maybe a few bumps uh, towards the uh, latter stages of the flight. I did say M-I-C-O-N. We're here. You want to go in first, Stephen? Yeah. Um, <laughs> can't open the door. Whoa! Wow, okay, this is our house! Wow! <laughs> it's got a big couch! Oh my goodness. Stephen's gone, he's gone upstairs. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Look oh my at this place, it's huge. Is it small? No. It's, no. Big. it's huge. Where are the bedrooms? Yeah, yeah. Well, let's go upstairs. Yeah. See what's up here. Are you, are you all right, Lara? Can yeah. you just hear us? Whoa! Oh, is all right? Oh. Yeah. What's in here? A bathroom. Oh, a bedroom. Where's Stephen gone? Oh, look at the view. Where's he gone? <laughs> He's out on the balcony. Wow, it's huge. <laughs> oh, there's a door there. Let's go out on the balcony. Where's the key, by the way? Not Is it in the door? We got a view of the Acropolis, just if that building wasn't there, it would be better. How big is it? Wow. Oh. Some seats there. There's the, uh, the double the king bed. Yeah. Look what's around here. Is that a bathroom there? Oh, it is. It's just a little punk bit. Oh, that's cute. Nice. Oh, so this is just a toilet and sink there. Yeah. Oh, so the, what, the bathroom upstairs nice. is the main. Yeah. Are you going to sleep here? Yeah. The bunk bed. Okay. It's what? Oops. So nice, right? Are <laughs> you used to spending two pounds a night? Yeah. Oh, we got bottles of water. Yeah, straight oh. in the fridge. Four. Four bottles of water. You just exploring a few. Yeah. Let's start at the beginning. One of the first things we did was to head over to St. Hagma Square, which kind of like a, it was the main square in Athens and it was so funny. We we headed over there for various reasons, but there was all these orange trees. We just thought they were orange trees and we were like, oh let's like get square to pick an orange tree and stuff and so not pick an orange tree, pick pick an orange off a tree. And so we did and oh my goodness it was vile. It was <laughs> As I've looked into it more, it's this, it's these bitter oranges that grow all around the city. That they're not really meant to be eaten, they're, they're disgusting. <laughs> Do you want me to put you on his shoulders? Yeah. <laughs> He's not even eating. <laughs> Yay! We got one! <laughs> you want me to do it? 
<laughs> Your face! <laughs> is it vile? <laughs> In Syntagma Square, we did see the, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, which on Sundays apparently, which is a bit of a shame that we're not here for Sunday, but on Sundays they do like a, this grand um, changing of the guard ceremony, which would be nice to see to be honest, but unfortunately we're not here on Sunday, we're moving on to somewhere else. On the hour, every hour, is a change of the guard ceremony, which we did see, which was nice to see. They kind of do this kind of crazy, like weird walk, and like, they wear like traditional dress, and the tomb of the unknown soldier is there just to represent Greeks that have fallen in wars. Oh, oh then they're going into the book things. Yeah, so they're going to go in there. Yeah. That's yeah. The thing about Greece is it's all kind of fairly close. You don't really need to do much travelling or anything. We then headed on to the National Gardens, which having square with us and stuff, we went over. It's like there's a play area there. And apparently, well, I was saying that there's lots of turtles in this place. We didn't see any. But apparently there's like a turtle pond with loads of turtles there. We just kind of wandered around and honestly it's like it's an, if, it's a, if it's a warm day it's a lovely place to kind of just relax in and it was nice. It was nice and squirt. I had a little play on the playground. We enjoyed it there. <laughs> and you will have to excuse from here on out in the vlog, you have to excuse my pronunciation of the Greek names, I have no idea how to pronounce them. But we headed over to the Panathenatic Stadium, which was, wow, it was like breathtaking, to be honest. I was like in awe of it. It was so amazing. It was the place of the first modern Olympics back in 1896, I believe. And then in 2004, they held, it was the, there was archery there in the Athens Olympics, with archery and the finish of the marathon was held there. Like we've been really lucky with our tickets for things. I didn't really understand how tickets for these, like obviously there's lots of archaeological sites and things around Athens. I didn't really understand how they work, but generally we've gotten in free for everything because we are a disabled person, a carer, an EU citizen at the moment, an EU, an EU student and a child under six. And so generally we've gotten in for free for everything and we've jumped queues which has been fantastic but yeah the stadium was just it was just breathtaking it was i don't know it was just one of those things that was just like really cool Whoa, the steps are huge. This is hard work, do you want to pause it? Pop them off. It's finished. <laughs> Look at those steps! The steepness. Wow, we've got to climb up then. It's like the Great Wall of China, Stephen, right? Mm -hmm. Apparently there was, they used to have like nude male Olympics there. Uh, like back in like 565 BC or something. Obviously the place has just got such a history to it and it's crazy just to be there and see it all I suppose.
Right, you ready? We're going to run all the way around. Oh yeah. Right, we're doing a lap. Ready? Yeah. And go. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> <Run. laughs> well, quicker than us. <laughs> yeah. What about time? Nearly there. Ooh. Our time. 3.02, 53. You'll be pulling your bin. Two minutes, right? <laughs> Inside, that you go up there at the tunnel that comes out, you go through the tunnel, and there's like a kind of like little mini museum. And they've got all the posters from the Olympic Games, previous Olympic Games, and the torches from all the Olympic Games and everything. And that was pretty cool to see, to be honest. Wow, all the posters from the Olympic Games, Stephen. Got Beijing, London, I think see all this. All the London was announced here, all of the. Like posters, Barcelona 92, Atlanta 96. Oh yeah, look, that's cool. It's got the torches. We then headed over to the Temple of Zeus. Gotta go to the Temple of Zeus, which also had... Honestly, I mean, that Temple of Zeus, I don't know whether I would bother doing that. Like, we didn't have to pay for it, but if... That, I mean, that's how I feel about a lot of the things that we've seen, the archaeological sites. A lot of them you can see from the outside and whether it's worth paying full price to go and see I don't necessarily know that it is but Temple of Zeus I'm glad we went to see. Ancient Agora, which it's got the temple of Hef I'm gonna put it on the screen what it actually is, but the Hephas Hephasitus, I don't know, the god of fire, and to Athena, the goddess of pottery and craft. It's like the, the, the best preserved of can you hear the um the prayer going on? Yeah, but it's it's well preserved, is that temple. It was built in 449 BC I believe and it's fantastically preserved so that was really nice to see and the grounds of the ancient Agora that was really interesting to kind of wander around there was lots of ruins around there there was just like little bits of interesting information and little boards to read and stuff that was fun we're gonna drop the rock on it say don't go too close you see it ah. And then we headed up to the Acropolis. The climb begins. Whoa, look at all the steps up ahead. There's lots of steps. Which, oh my goodness, it was such a warm, like hot, not warm is not the word. It was a boiling, boiling hot day. I, I got quite burnt, as you can see. That day I didn't wear any sun cream, which was a bit silly of me. We headed up to the Acropolis, which, I mean, obviously the Acropolis is the Acropolis, and at the top of the Acropolis, which is just over there, it was good again, we got in there for free, which was fantastic, and it was just so hot, honestly, it was just so, so hot. The thing that's missing from it, I don't know whether having a guided tour may have been of use, because I don't feel like I've gained any information, like, I've seen the Acropolis, I've seen the Par Parthen Parthenian, oh, excuse me with my lack absolute how to pronounce these things like i've seen the things that are on top of the acropolis the buildings i don't really know that much about them and i feel like that was missing so maybe like a guided tour would have been useful to be quite honest but we didn't do that and it was fun it was fun anyway but i just felt like a bit of information was lacking from that we also saw on like one slope one side of the acropolis which i thought like 
am I the only one that I thought the Acropolis was the building? Where was the, the building on top is the, like the main building is the Pothidian again on the screen. Um, the Acropolis is like the mound. I didn't know that whatsoever. Am I the only one that thought that the Acropolis was that building? We made it. There's the flag. The Greek flag. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we didn't need to go and bother. We can see it from here. I had lunch with my own drink right now. Do you bring your pocket? Do you bring your pocket? Well, there was the theatre of the D Dion. I'm caught, I've been calling him Dion because I don't know how to pronounce the rest of it. The theatre, which is fantastic to look at. And I to just imagine like things that went on there over time and things is just amazing. And then on our last day, we've been very kind of rained out today. We we headed over, as you will see, we headed over to, we thought it's raining all day, let's go over to the Acropolis Museum. We did cock, us, cock it up a little bit, like we were given priority, you'll see, here you go. Oh. It's not such a nice day today. <laughs> We're getting a little bit wet, so we decided we need an indoor activity. We've come to the Acropolis Museum. Acropolis is just there. But wonderfully, as we arrived, there's a big queue to get in. Everyone's queuing in the rain. Having Lara has some benefits. A nice lady outside said, um, Well, oh, ma'am, you have priority, so she walked us to the front. And we've got in for free. So, score. We've kind of mostly got into everything for free whilst we've been here. We've paid one thing, one thing that we've had to pay. Stephen. We've paid like six for Stephen. No, it's three. Three for the stadium. Yeah, two fifty for Stephen to go to the stadium, and then six. Yes, yeah, so we've everything. We didn't even want to go. More or less, everything has been free. As you can see, it's not nice today. But look at my son's burn from yesterday. I need the rain to cool. Wow, we need to get inside, right? <laughs> let's let's try and get inside. We think we're not sure. Well. We should have brought our rain, we've brought rain jackets. Do you want my rain jacket? We think we've messed this up, we think we've come back into the Acropolis and not to the Acropolis Museum. I think maybe the museum is there and we've just come in at a, a, another, yeah, another side of the Acropolis. We're being cocky in there. Oh, look at him. Hiding from the rain. Oh, the queues are huge. Here's the museum. Well, it's a black building, yeah. And then when we eventually did make our way over to the museum, again we got priority into. Which I mean, it's just fantastic. You just we just skip the queues, and I feel kind of like cheeky doing it, but they kind of like they come and say, "Oh, you have priority," and so. Um, go to the front of the queue, we get free tickets. The museum, the Acropolis Museum, every single review and every single thing that I've read is really positive about it and says, like, oh, it's fantastic, it's fantastic. With it, I just haven't got that interest, I don't know, but I honestly didn't find it that interesting. That's my interest and I like, there's lots of sculptures and there's lots of information and things. Uh, the one thing that I did find really interesting in there was the Lego, uh, Lego sculpture, the Lego model, so it was not a sculpture was it, the Lego model of Acropolis. To see it all kind of made out of Lego was pretty cool.
And we've just kind of wandered around uh, for the rest of the day and like grabbed a drink and just relaxed and things and it has been such a fantastic time. Yeah, I love it. Over here. <laughs> I definitely think that you know three or four days in Athens is probably enough if you're just doing the site and again I don't know how much if you're paying full price I don't know how much you feel about the value of these things like I say we've done everything pretty much for free so we're just like yes I think it's fantastic um maybe I'd feel differently if we'd paid like you know a lot of money to do these things but we've had a wonderful time we are leaving tomorrow so check out next week's vlog as to see where we are off to tomorrow for hopefully fingers crossed we are going to get some nice weather we'll just have to see i think we're due storms which is a bit of a pain if we are but we'll just see we will just see but thank you so much for watching i will see you in next week's vlog bye, bye